All right, we're gonna maybe do go through the steps of this one. This is the little corner cabinet uh, with the spice pull out and it's got the radius kind of cabinet thing I did on the side. The melamine sheets, for what I'm gonna be doing, um, they're like 40 bucks a sheet. And I got a full sheet for the long cabinet for the long set of a uh, countertop. I don't know how this is gonna work out, man. So um, I set it down and I took a hot glue gun I got all my measurements down as you can see it doesn't fit the sheet that I got so I'm gonna have to improvise and do something different um, I marked this is the back top that's the front that's the stove side so what I'm gonna do is this is looking up normally this would be the top of the countertop so now what I have to do is reverse it and flip it over so what I'm gonna do is try to align it on this piece of melamine and make the form like that. I've already took, they had some melamine shelving at Home Depot. Essentially it's a particle board with a, it's a foil infused um, coating here and if you guys work with it you know it can get real sharp these edges so you gotta be careful. And uh, our countertop's gonna be inch and a half so I ripped it at inch and a half. And now I'm just gonna lay it in. Uh, with with the butt joints meet it's just I'm just gonna take it and just rough cut it past the point I mean I got a lot of extra here I could actually do this and we'll cut this plug in the old miter saw and uh yeah Yeah, I'm actually gonna helicopter, helicopter. I'm gonna lay that in like that and just follow this around. And with these funky angles, I have to establish what they are. So, because you can't have, you can't put a piece like this and then try to butt another piece up against it. You can't leave this exposed because what happens is when the concrete's wet and water hits it, it's just gonna wanna blow up on you. We're formed up, everything fit, thank God. Now I'm just gonna lift form out, all the pattern out. What we're left with is more work. So we're gonna take this and we gotta clean it off. Get all the dust out of it. Get all the silicone. I siliconed all the mitered joints so it's nice and tight. That will be actually sitting up against the wall. Now, what I'm going to do is grab the paste wax. Well, actually, I gotta tear this upside down and shake all the sawdust off. I was gonna say, that's not cleaned. Spielberg, keep filming. I hope everybody is doing well. We haven't been on doing any videos, it's just been straight out. Busy, right? Very busy. Yeah. And fighting too. And arguing. <laughs> you know how it is. Happy wife, happy life. No, this time is happy husband, happy life. That's right. All about me. It's the me show. So we're just waxing just where the just where the silicone's gonna go. And we have the other one. Uh, drying up in the sun over there yonder the silicone. I'm kind of running out of time now This has been all day. Well, I've been trying to Do the window case it outside and do the shingles and just getting the stuff and, uh, What you doing? So now I'm gonna grab my Yeah, I'm using that I'm gonna grab my Black silicone. So what we're using? Three hour rain ready and freeze proof. Blah blah blah. Hopefully we won't have any more freezing for the next 20 years or so. And I'm just gonna place it on the seam here and just lay it in. Don't have to be too neat with it. It's gonna get screeded out. Up. There's, there's really no 
method or oh, madness to this. Oh, madness to this method. And what happens is this seals the two pieces here, the two panels form and it prevents any water from getting in and leaking out and not only that with with the <coughs> she's out of control the control with the um this the, yeah see what this you little drop some yeah well that's all gonna get scraped off because of the wax i got this little dowel here where's the dowel dowel yeah, see, it's a plastic glue stick that I cut on a 45, and you take it in, and it leaves you a nice finished edge. So now, half of that, after that, this that's actually the top lip of the concrete, and with the butcher's wax there, this silicone stick to it and I should be able to in theory peel it off and I've watched a bunch of guys doing it some guys use just regular white um, acrylic uh, latex caulk some guys use the silicone I kind of like the silicone that's just me it's my preference I guess you can do it the other way and we just work it And this this you have to be a little you're gonna have to be a little neat and I know I'm gonna get pinholes and air bubbles and stuff I am gonna try to put a sander on here um, a vibratory sander and try to get the grout to actually go and do its thing you make a mess I do make a mess all right, so that's to that point. We got a little bit more to do in here. I don't know if I can get that in there, but that's going to be. That is a tight corner. All right, I can actually sand that out. It's too much of a shop edge. Speedbird continues to film me instead of. I am oh. filming the, your. Yeah, you masterpiece. Mr. Peace. All right, so that. So we're gonna let that dry now. Um, after it's all dry, we're gonna peel all the excess silicone off. And then, and uh, definitely, definitely, since I screwed through the top here, <laughs> screw through the top here, Spielberg, <laughs> I'm gonna grab duct tape after this is dry. Okay, all right, Spielberg, pan out, Spielberg. Spielberg, you should be knowing these things, you're the director. All right, after that, I'm gonna take this ancient old duct tape mm. and we're gonna place it over the top here like that this doesn't do anything but when I'm done screening I peel it back and I can get my at my screw holes because if I fill that up with concrete you're uh, doomed not doomed but getting the form off is gonna be tough so I've seen some guys use hot glue and they'll hot glue the form right here are you filming yeah. or you just you're looking at she's looking at me nodding her head and you guys are looking at a blank form. <laughs> so, wow, we're out of practice making videos, man. I think this is going to be one of the last videos we ever do. I can hardly see. It's up, like, kind of dark. Okay, it's fine. Um, so, I'll do that. Essentially, that's just a demo. And I'll come back and trim all this, but you want to do that. And we're almost done with the kitchen. This is the last couple of things to do. After this is dried, like we got that one out in the sun, that's dry. We're going to uh, get denatured alcohol, wipe the whole foam. It's got to be spotless. And uh, then we're going to start mixing up the grout bags. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. This one is still drying. This one is all set. We got the duct tape here, so I got to put a little piece here. Um, but there's no screw hole here, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, there was a little crack in the... There was a little crack in the... Nice oh, billwork here. <laughs> it's just, the camera's like, ah, with my hand, so... Alright, I got to the point where we're gonna get ready to pour this one. We cleaned it all out. Now I'm gonna wash all this now with denatured alcohol. 
get any impurities off of uh, the melamine. Um, I know I'm gonna have to do something here with this corner, but it is sealed. I definitely got silicone in there, but I'm gonna have to when I when I don't have to get too close in there. I mean, that's the beauty of, of videotaping. You can lie and say that you did everything perfect, but it's not gonna be perfect. And the crack, there's a crack here. Yeah, I know there's a crack there. But it's, it's got all uh, silicone in it. Can I grab a teenager alcohol? Molly! And she's gonna follow me every step of the way. What do you got? What do you got? Who's here? Oh, it's Trevor. Boy. Trevor! <laughs> How are you, Trevor? I'm doing great. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> this is our, uh, he's kind of like an adopted son. <laughs> I would say you're our adopted son, right, Trevor? Yeah, see, he agrees. And we did the floor. We did it last week. Um, the blend came out not too bad. Can I say something? Go ahead. You're going to say it anyway, so. I did a better job than you did. Where? <laughs> Where? You left stains on the floor. That's why I have you. It's a competition thing. She has to be better than me. I don't know why. Maybe it's the whole man versus woman thing. Okay. There are a vast amount of how-tos on concrete countertops. This is not a how-to. Definitely not. I mean, there's a lot better videos. They go more in depth. They explain more. Um, this is essentially the first time I've ever done this. And she wanted to just go out and get Formica, which probably would have been cheaper in the long run, but there's no fun in it. And this is fun. So, all right, we're all denatured. Um, now I'm going to grab some of the grout. I'm going like Milrick's root. Excuse me. And uh, what we're gonna do, this is what I was gonna go over with, with the missus here. We're gonna use this. We're not gonna use it. <laughs> now we are. <laughs> it's a cement color, charcoal. What do you think if I do one batch dark, one batch just in straight, one batch dark, and you'll have like. No. She wants it all one color. I kind of like the difference in colors, but. So, for every bag, we're gonna have to do. You're loving this, aren't you? You're suffering. You're suffering. But for every bag, we're gonna do a measure here. This stuff's brutal. Make sure you measure the same. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it in a cup. I'll mark the cup with a tape line. We'll do that much to a bag. Okay. Is that gonna be enough? That's gonna be enough. That's okay. Stained. I'll see. It's a concentrate. I want look, a little look, bit dark. Look! look. <laughs> dark away a couple more hours. We plenty dark out here. Alright, so we'll be back after I mix this up. Get out of my face, Gilbert. Okay, we got the brawn and the not so brawn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're gonna you're not gonna you're gonna cut a slot at the top, right? And pour it in slowly. No? You, yeah, you can't just dump it on on like you just gotta mix. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Doctor makes an incision. <laughs> <laughs> the first cut has been made. And the patient is just oozing out slowly. Oh, oh, oh now we gave him a rupture and a hernia. And a dislocated He's gonna need a new size 32 pins after this. Oh boy. He's just reaching inside the patient and just digging out his entrails. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. 
cool. Just. <laughs> you can put it down. You just get hit by you the door. You can put it down. No, my foot got hit. Okay, let's make another batch. Trevor. Water. Dump that in there, Trevor. Concrete waits for no man now. I'm gonna get more water. Okay. Here's a. Uh, just some concrete. All right, so you get the gist of it, guys. We're just gonna keep doing that until we fill that. Spielberg, nobody wants to see the inside of an empty bucket. They want to see what's in the form. <laughs> Why is it every time that I do a video here, somebody's alarm goes off? I don't know if you can hear it. Well, after the dog and pony show, we're done. We got a fire going. The boys are gonna go out and roast some weenies. And I'm just gonna pick through these videos and try to upload something. It's worth watching. So, Mark in the second gen. I'm getting there, almost done. We got one more slab to go, and then it's just the finishing touches, and then back onto something you guys enjoy watching, car stuff. So be well, be safe. Thanks for watching, commenting, interacting. See you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>